Hello, my name is Tyler Gorman. I'm the president of Water's Edge Recovery. I started this journey approximately 14 years ago. Addiction really had a, a big impact on my family and uh, it was the first time that we had to put one of my immediate family members through uh, treatment and we saw what was out there. We, we did a lot of research, uh, we saw the different treatment programs and they were they, there were some good programs and then there were some not so good programs and that's what got my interest started in looking into the industry. The treatment programs that I saw out there, they were more or less four week programs and I thought that four weeks for somebody that has been out there using uh, drugs and alcohol for as long as they have um, doesn't really do a lot, especially if you don't have the proper aftercare and the follow-up. Um, so I created Water's Edge Recovery so we could have an environment that fosters love and care and support for the people that come in our doors. So many times the addicts have been given up on by their families, their friends, they have nowhere to turn, they have nobody. When they come through the doors here at Water's Edge Recovery, we welcome them with open arms, loving, caring, supporting, nurturing environment, yet we do have a fine balance between being loving and caring and supporting and also motivating, showing them that they can be more than what they are. They're not destined to be a drug addict, alcoholic, a loser, shooting dope, uh, buying drugs on the streets and living on the streets. There's more inside of them. It's up to us to bring that zest for life back out to the surface that has been lying such, so dormant for so long. The goal was to become the most respected treatment center. Uh, most respected, I mean, from our peers, from the family members, but most importantly, by the people that we treat. The people that walk through our doors, I want them to respect us and to know that we have their best interest at heart. If we put our clients first, everything else will fall into place, and that's what we do. Uh, we have that motto all around our treatment centers. The client is never an interruption of our work. The client is our work, and that's what we strive to do. The environment that we have, it fosters love, compassion, understanding, and putting the client first. And what that has done for us is the staff has become a family as well. Um, we set out to have the staff become family, but we, not ne we didn't necessarily set out to have the staff just inherently be accountable to each other through peer support, and that has been established here. Uh, the people that make up our team and our family here are not here for just a job. They're here because they've been in the shoes of our clients. They've walked the walk, they've talked the talk, and they genuinely care and want to help each individual that walks through these doors. Uh, the drugs, sometimes they can tend to be the easy part. It's the emotional scars, the baggage that they have from maybe something that happened in their past that they've never addressed, they don't have closure to. It could be a number of different things. We do work with them to help them address their past and so to speak lick their wounds, but we also have a very strong focus on today forward. You're the, the saying that I always go by is, it doesn't matter what your past has been, you have a spotless future. And that's what we really try to bring out in our clients, that we help you address the past, but what are we going to do from today forward to make you the best person that you can possibly be? When researching the industry, I traveled the entire country, going to different treatment centers with excellent reputations, meeting a lot of the people at each one of those treatment centers that were basically an open book to me. I told them what my vision was, is to to create a world-class facility that is the most respected facility and that puts the client first. And that's mu that was music to their ears. So in turn, they basically opened up to me and gave me pointers and, and all the things that work for their program, which I took pieces from every different program that I went to and made it part of this program. And it develops a life of its own. It really does. Uh, through the clients, through the staff, through the families, it, it kind of develop its, develops its own life. That information was invaluable to me. Um, it really helped us hone in on the points that we need to have as strong points in the program and then ones that maybe are ancillary pieces of the program. But at the heart of it all is putting the client first and loving them unconditionally. Since inception, we've doubled our bed capacity, and it, is, it was not by necessarily design, it was just by need, because word of mouth started getting out there from different parent organizations of alumni that have gone through here, alumni that have left here, and have spread the word, 
that we are a treatment center that actually cares. One of our, one of our alumni had gone through 18 different treatment centers and they were in their early 20s or are in their early 20s and they said that they've never felt the way they have until they walk through these doors. It's just an energy that when you walk through these doors you feel I'm where I'm supposed to be and that person today almost has two years sober and that's that's what our goal is. Our goal is to treat that person. The business aspect of it that all falls into place as long as you put the client first. They're in a safe environment, they're in a loving and caring environment, but they're also in an environment where we hold them accountable for their actions and we help guide them and give them motivation to achieve a better life. We want them to achieve a happy, long-lasting life filled with family, friends, lifelong bonds and not just somebody looking to sell them drugs. Someone that's a friend for money to get drugs and so on and so forth. We want to build lasting relationships. Most recently we've become accredited by the Joint Commission. Uh, we got accredited on our first visit which is pretty unheard of uh, not only in this industry but just in the medical industry in general. We also have a staff ratio. We have two staff for every patient and that's also unheard of in the industry. A lot of places shoot for one-to-one -one staff to guest ratio and, and we have two staff members to every guest. And we really do invest back into the company. Uh, that's what we want to do and we want to continue to do that. Having a longer term program has really helped with our, with our clients being that they're not just here for four weeks and then they go on and they go, we, a lot of places say go to 90 meetings in 90 days and call us if you relapse. When they leave Water's Edge Recovery, they don't just leave and become an alumni and a stranger. They stay within our community. Our program internally is six to eight weeks long. So they're with us internally for six to eight weeks. Then they move on to transitional living. And at the transitional living, they're, they're attending evening classes. We're helping them with their life skills, getting a job, working on their resume, getting them back into society, but yet living in a controlled environment and still remaining very close to us here at the treatment center. The life skills piece is a big part because a lot of the people that come in our doors, they've never made a bed, they've never paid a bill, they've never cooked a meal. Uh, they don't even, a lot of them might not even know what a resume is and we help them with all that. We help them uh, establish accountability accountability to themselves, uh, self-pride to themselves, where they get up in the morning and they want to make their bed, not just make their bed because they have to. They want to, we want them to feel pride in themselves. We want them to feel like they are number one. And all of that comes back to our staff. That's, our staff walks the walk and talks the talk. Um, our, our clients, they come in here, they come in here broken, they come in here without a job, they come in here from using drugs uh, for years, and we help not only address their past, but we also address what's going to happen from today forward, not only from the standpoint of uh, beating the drugs, but giving them inspiration to want to do better. If culture, community, and accountability, and a loving and caring environment for your family member are what you're looking for, please call us. Pick up the phone today. I am on, on site every single day. I become involved with the clients. I become involved with the families. You'll have my personal cell phone number, and you can reach out to me anytime, day or night. I will be there for you, and so will the rest of the staff of Water's Edge Recovery.